Hey Pile One, welcome to your reading. Today we are going to be seeing what is your next lover going to be like? Um, how are y'all going to meet? When y'all going to meet? So let's see. <laughs> so you got the Eight of Wands. You got Dr. Bird. Muscular celebration, <laughs> lucky girl syndrome, God's favorite period. So, <laughs> power one right off the bat, I'm getting that your next lover is gonna shoot their shot at you. So, whether you a woman, whether you a man, they are gonna shoot their shot at you. And you are going to meet them at a celebration, at a party, at a... It doesn't necessarily... I mean, I guess... Are all celebrations parties? I mean, there could be all kinds of celebrations. But you're, you're going to meet this person when you're celebrating something. Or you're going to meet this person when you're celebrating something. Or at a celebration. Or... um. You can also meet this person when you're treating yourself like you know how you did you had a really really good week at work so you want to go treat yourself with a pedicure and that's kind of like a form of celebration too so you're going to be meeting this person when you are in in celebration or you're at a celebration and this is going to be at a time where you feel very very abundant and lucky and um you're going to be in the energy of like having everything that you need and feeling very, very lucky in life. And you're going to feel lucky and stable in life. So that's when you're going to meet your next lover. Now, when I say lover, I kind of mean like, I don't necessarily mean a um, long term relationship. This is just somebody that you're going to have fun with in a lot of different ways, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. You're going to meet this person when you are in celebration and you're going to be feeling lucky. We have God's we have God's favorite and we have lucky girl syndrome. You're going to be feeling like God's favorite. You're going to be feeling lucky. And this person is going to be fit. Whether man or woman, this person is going to be fit. This person is going to look healthy, um, strong. Like they're going to be fine definitely gonna be fine let me get some more physical cards oh oral health this person is gonna have like a beautiful smile viral infection <laughs> we got the paw print <laughs> This person could have a dog too. So if you meet someone and they have a dog, then you know that this is the person that I'm talking about. Um, baby doll style. So, oh, so you can meet this person when you're wearing a dress. If you're a woman, you gonna meet this person when you're wearing a dress. So if you don't wear dresses often, maybe you should start. <laughs> But you're meeting this person when you wear a dress. And this person could be very, very straightforward. Because, like, my energy right now is so straightforward. It's like I know everything to say. There's no fogginess. There's no nothing. Like, everything is so clear cut. Like, I have a very clear cut energy right now. This person is coming through very clear cut. So, this person is not going to have you looking for the clues like Scooby-Doo. Like... They are literally gonna see you, see what you, see what they want, and approach. They're gonna shoot their shot. Like this eight of wands, also um, for me, it reminds me of like shooting your shot. So this person gonna shoot their shot immediately when they see you. They gonna be like, "Ooh, this is somebody that I'm interested in. I'm gonna go talk to them." It's gonna be no playing games, and this person is gonna be like that throughout the course of um, y'all's relationship or y'all's. Um, whatever rendezvous or whatever this person is not going to play any games with you they're going to be straightforward with you
tone it down. This person, oh, and with this baby doll style, this person, if you're a woman, this person is going to put you in your feminine energy. You're going to want to feel, you're going to want to be feminine around them or you're going to naturally be feminine around them. This person is going to have a lot of like masculine energy if this is a man. If, if this is a woman, she's going to have a lot of feminine energy and put you more in your masculine energy. Like, like. I'm hearing like submissive. This person is going to make you want to be like, want to be submissive or want to be like um, feminine. Feet care. This person is going to like your feet too. There's going to be something significant about your feet. And I said pedicure. Something about a pedicure at the beginning. So this person... Um, is gonna like compliment your feet or and then we also have this paw print this person is gonna love your feet they're gonna love your feet so i also want to see how is this whole thing gonna go like how is it gonna go between you two i'm not gonna make this reading too 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 long I'm filming a few videos in a row. But every time I say that, I still end up <laughs> being long-winded because I can't hold the messages back. So let's see. What is this relationship going to look like? Oh! <laughs> Y'all... <laughs> y'all the lovers this can very well turn into a long-term commitment soulmate like i just heard this person could put you in your this person could make you feel stable this person can make you feel very stable this person like when you're with this person it's going to be no questions asked you're not going to have to wonder like oh i wonder if he likes me i wonder if this i wonder if that no every question is going to be answered because this person is so straight up that you're not going to have any questions there's going to be nothing to question every like you're not going to have anxiety in this. It's not going to be um, anything like going unsaid or unanswered because this person is going to be so straight up. And you could be like that too. This is kind of like a match made in heaven, the lovers. And this person could also be a Gemini. This person can also be a Gemini. Very, very funny guy or funny girl. Okay, so let's see when, when, when is this happening? Oh, we got the Wheel of Fortune. So Spirit said this is happening. They're not giving me a time, but they're giving me a scenario. This is going to be happening, like I said, when you're feeling when when your when your luck in life changes so when things start to look up for you that's when this person is going to come or when when um when you're at a celebration like when you have something to celebrate so if you have a celebration coming up you have a party coming up you have you're treating yourself um in the near future this is when this person is coming in this person is coming in when there is a celebration when you are when you celebrating yourself or celebrating somebody else and i'm going to keep that element of surprise because fear wants to keep that element because this is going to be coming in when it's going to it's going to it's going to kind of be like the icing on the cake to your life in a way so pile one, let me know how this resonated. This was, uh, <laughs> let me know how this resonated. Come back whenever it happens and let me know. 
but i will see y'all in the next one bye hey y'all welcome back to the channel today we're going to be seeing what your next lover will be like um pile one kind of went away from what i was thinking because when i think of lover i was thinking about like not necessarily a relationship just could just be somebody that you have fun with for a period of time <clears throat> so what is your what is your next lover gonna be like for your tarot card we got the knight of pentacles tattoos long hair <laughs> yeah um the anywhere key people love that you educated and cousin wow <laughs> um I'm laughing because this is describing somebody to me. But um, this person could be short. This person could be short and small. Obviously have tattoos or you could have tattoos and they like your tattoos. They, this person has long hair or long dreads. And um, you, can, you are more sophisticated than them in some type of way, shape, or form. <laughs> like... Like, I'm not saying that they're, like, uneducated or anything like that, but you're more sophisticated than them. That, like, you could be more classy than them. Like, they could be very, like, hood or, like, just kind of, like, um, classless or something like that. And you have, like, a lot of class or whatever. Um, you could have met this. You could meet this person through a family member or at a family function or at a family member's house. And, um... Yeah, so let me see. Let me get more. Bored in the house, and I'm in the house, bored. Bored in the house, and I'm in the house, bored. Y'all remember that from pan the pandemic? You're going to meet this person when you're bored in the house, and I'm in the house, bored. <laughs> bored in the house, and I'm So you're bored, so you're going to get this person a chance. documents money magnet oh yeah special love <clears throat> i'm remembering y'all now this is not an appropriate joke by any means necessary by any means but i'm remembering in school when people used to be like yeah, you special, all right, special ed. I'm hearing that. So when I pulled out this special, uh, this special love card. So when you meet this person, you could notice that you start to attract in a lot of money. Like you, you, you start naturally attracting money because some people just have energies. Like sometimes when you when you mesh up with certain people's energy, y'all attract money because that's just the kind of energy that y'all have together. So for some reason, whenever you're with this person, you tend to um, y'all tend to attract money together. So y'all can mistake this for being like something more than what it is because y'all could feel kind of like lucky around each other y'all are also y'all could also um go um go places together a lot um this person gonna be getting you out of the house or you're gonna be getting this person out of the house And this person, this person is going to want to show you off or they're going to want to show proof that they have like they're with you or that this person is just know that this person is show, is they telling they the type of person that kiss and tell. So if you wanted to keep this person a secret, just let you know ahead of time that this person will be telling people and they're, they're going to want to have proof that 
they have been with you or that they hang out with you or that like if y'all have um you know relations they're gonna tell people that y'all have relations they they are going to tell okay It says that. Red. Archangel Michael. Y'all. This person is definitely less sophisticated than you or less educated than you. Thursday. But they bring some type of luck though. This person has some type of unconventional job. I'm not going to lie. This person could be like, <laughs> this person could be the plug or somebody like he sell weed or he has, he has a type of job where he get lots of little amounts of money at a time. Like, um, like a drug dealer, you know, <laughs> y'all know how a drug dealer get $20 here, $10 here, $50 here, $100 here. Like they get a bunch of little bitty amounts of money, but at the end of the day, Dana made a stack. That's what, that's the kind of job that this person go have. <laughs> Y'all, I'm too through. <laughs> this is your next lover, but you're going to feel like. I don't know. There's going to be kind of a feeling of like abundance around this person. But I'm getting it's it's going to be you're doing this for pure fun. Peace. Free spirit. What did I say? This is going to be like a fuck it type of situation like Oh, well, I'm bored. Fuck it. Let me do it. <laughs> so, what is, what would it come, what is going to come of this? What is going to come of it? What is it going to look like? What's going to come of this? The Knight of Cups. <laughs> the Knight of Cups. in the nine of cups Oop. this person is gonna fulfill your need for the time being let me get one more what is gonna come of this in a knight of pentacles this person is gonna fulfill your need of boredom <laughs> they're gonna fulfill it like <clears throat> this person is gonna fulfill your they're gonna get you out of the house you're not gonna be bored anymore and you you're gonna feel emotionally um, emotionally fulfilled from this um situation because you're not bored anymore you got somebody to spend your time with and they they're spending their money on you um they could send you, they can even send you small amounts of money i'm not getting huge amounts of money but they can give you like oh they send you fifty dollars here twenty dollars here you know like they they can they take care of your immediate needs like um i'm hearing that megan the stallion song quit calling him a trick if he only buy your food <laughs> so he's not like a trick but he buy your food if you get what i'm saying <laughs> y'all i am crying oh my god but yeah he is like uh he's one of the ones like you you gonna have fun with him or her this can also be, this could be either way so if i constantly say him and your guy just know it goes both ways so you know like you, you're gonna have fun with him you're gonna feel like a free spirit it's gonna be kind of like fuck it um and i'm getting like summer romance like you know it's you know it's just it is what it is, and it's it's fulfilling you for the time being, is what I'm getting.
And I'm trying to get when. When will this person be coming in? This person is going to like allow you to play. I'm hearing play. You a hustler. Yes, this person's some type of hustler. Coffee. Turking on them headlights. You going to have a lot of fun with this person. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um they're going to Y'all are going to attract a lot of money together. Not making money together like y'all working together. But it's just y'all going to be attracting more money in together. You remind me of love. And yeah, this. <sighs> Watching you. Yes. <laughs> y'all are going to be enjoying each other for the time being. Just leave it like that, Pop. So y'all enjoying each other for the time being. It's going to be super fun. Y'all are going to collect some coin while y'all at it. And yeah, it's just like a fun situation. Nothing too serious. It could become serious if you make it serious. But it's really just meant with this Archangel Michael here. It's really just meant to come in your life to, to show you a good time blow off some steam and so you can get out of this like bored energy so pile two let me know how how this resonated and i will see you on the next one bye hey pile three welcome to your reading and today we're going to be seeing what your next lover will be like so what i mean by next lover is not necessarily a relationship but just next um you know, next person that you're going to be talking to, like having fun with, you know, sharing time with, whatever. So, your tarot card is whoop, the Seven of Swords. We got Hourglass Shape. Vitamin D. <laughs> Minding my business. You have stopped a lot of bad habits, and I see you, God, and ghost child. <laughs> Your next lover is definitely somebody from the past spinning the block. That is gonna that is who you gonna be entertaining next. And this person was not good for you the last time you was messing with this person. But you're going to spin the old block <laughs> because you're probably depressed or going through a breakup or sad in some type of way. Or you could just be needing that vitamin D, if you know what I mean. So you finna spin a block on somebody. That's going to be your next, your next lover. Most definitely. And this person could be highly attracted to you and you know that this per you know that this person will take you anytime. Like all you gotta do is call and they gon' they coming. Purse. Misunderstanding. This is definitely somebody that you had arguments with, misunderstandings with, somebody that you just could not get along with. You think this person is like um a narcissist or they might be like just like a liar but for some reason you spinning the old block that's gonna be the next level good hair day cleopatra oh you could be looking really 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 good and this person spin a block and like you just kind of you you're in a state in your energy where you just could appreciate some flattery and this one thing about this person this person is gonna flatter you and you really just need that in your life right now so that's really why you spin in a block because you just really lonely and you need the flattery so you're gonna entertain somebody old somebody from the past Cool as the other side of the pillow. 
Sí. Brain. Heal sacred chakra. This was somebody you could have um worked hard to get over. Ooh, pile three. No, I don't want y'all to do it. <laughs> but this this could be somebody that y'all works hard to get over. And y'all think y'all could spin a block and just have it be casual. Which I mean y'all may some of y'all may y'all probably can do that. I don't know. You and this person should be friends. Oh, this is a old lover that's going to spin a block and you think you can come back around and be friends or just, you know, do the whole casual thing. Okay, Bob three. Okay. This person, this person could, this person likes the way you look like real bad. This person loves the way you look. They super duper attracted to you. Like you this person's type. You are this person's type like through and through. So anytime you say you want to come back, this person is going to be, they're going to be screwed. The Ace of Cups, y'all. Y'all are going to spin a block on somebody thinking that you can keep it casual, but you're going to get in your feelings again. You're going to get in your feelings again about it. What's going to be the outcome of this situation? What is going to be the outcome of this situation? The emperor. What is the outcome? I just heard standing on business. Nine of Wands. Oh, two of Cups. I'm not going to lie, y'all. Some of y'all could be making this work. Some of y'all are going to be making this work. Y'all are going to be like, fall, both of y'all are going to um get back in y'all feelings. Not just you, but both of y'all. And there could be a lot of push and pull. And y'all could be defensive in the beginning. But y'all both are going to fall for each other again. And this time y'all going to stand on business. The Six of Swords. Oh, yeah! Wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> Y'all, y'all could be falling for each other again. And it turned out to be emotionally fulfilling. It turned out to be good. Because this person, this person could have probably tried to like date other people and stuff like that. But this person, you are ex the, the exact person that they would want ever. Like, I don't even know why they ever let you go or why they ever acted a certain way towards you. Because this person, like, you're literally the exact type of person that they want. When they think of the person, the person that they want is you. Like, the, your personality, just everything in your looks, they extremely attracted to you. Like, when it comes to you, it's like everybody else 
they can just cut them off easily. They don't care about everybody else. But when it comes to you, you're like a snake charmer when it comes to them. Like you can live, they literally will bend to your will because like they just, they see you as like a soulmate. And they really, really, really love you. And they're going to come in trying to act all like they want to be casual. But they're going to be in their feelings and you will fall in your feelings as well. And it's actually going to turn into something good. Wow. I ain't see this coming, Pop. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> so, um, when, when will this happen? Oops. The Eight of Pentacles. This person coming back in your life when you are working on something. When you're working on something, you could be getting your life together. Getting your life together. We do have this mind in your business. You could be getting your life together, stacking your money. Um, I'm hearing plans. You could be going through with plans. You could be, um, what we do have is you have stopped a lot of bad habits and I see you. You could be working on something or going towards some type of goal in life or your life could be changing significantly because of your hard work. You're working towards something. And that's when this person going to spin the block. They see you working on yourself. And you're even more attractive than you was like when y'all was together. That's crazy. This could be fast. You could be working on yourself right now. Maybe you have a new um, workout routine. You just started a new job. You working on your beauty. Like something. But this person is coming toward you quickly. Wow. Pile three. Let me know how this resonated for y'all. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Hey, Pile four. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're going to be seeing what your next lover is going to look like. Like, who is your next lover? And when I say next lover, I mean, like, I don't necessarily mean a long-term relationship, even though the, the previous piles have been like, whoa. <laughs> but... I mean, like, just your next rendezvous, your next um, person that you spend some time with or whatever. So, for your tarot card, we got the strength. We have skinny, at-home workouts, the car. You always smell really good and people love your scent. Smile. So your next lover could definitely have a significant smile. I won't say beautiful smile. I'm just hearing significant smile. Like there's something significant about their smile. Like they have very unique teeth or a unique smile. There's something unique. Maybe they have like a gap or just something unique about their smile. And also your next lover, they can come to your house a lot or you can go to their house a lot and they love the way that you smell. They like your, um, your, uh, what you call that? They love your self care. And, um, this person acts differently around you for some reason. They act like, um, like you make this person act differently. Like if they're usually like a mess. They clean their house from top to bottom before you come. And this person could also be super, super skinny too. And you could come and pick this person up or this person can come pick you up a lot. And they like to pick you up. They like um, you riding in their car. 
And they also love the smell that you leave behind when you ride in a car. Offer new services. Speak your mind. Yes, they like the way that you speak. And they like the ideas that you have. They like your ideas. Like, you, you could have new ways of um, looking at things than they do. Clear the air. Oh, this person. <laughs> this person, I'm hearing sassy. This person likes that you're sassy. And you, you're very, you could be very opinionated. Fit you like a glove. Yes, this person feel like you fit them like a glove. Like you, um, oh, <laughs> This person likes the way, also this person likes the way that they fit into you, if you know what I mean. Or um, the way that you fit into them, if you know what I mean. This wasn't supposed to be 18 plus, but it's 18 plus. Politics. Angel wings. This person does see you as some type of like angel. They feel blessed. Because I'm hearing extremely blessed, extremely blessed. Uh, yeah, so they feel extremely blessed to be around you. That's why I say they like when like when you get out of their car or when you leave their house, you leave this energy, this scent that they like go crazy over. Outstanding. Miracles happening now. I knew it. This person, every time you're with this person... This person could feel like um, it's a miracle. Like it's from God. It's God sent. It's heaven sent. So you could be like um, way out of this person's league. You're way out of this person's league. Your next lover, you're going to be way out of this person's league. Or this person perceives you as being out of their league. Tall whites, yeah. This person literally sees you as like an angel, like God sent, and they could act completely different. Like I said, they act completely different around you. They want to be clean. They want to be. They probably don't use a lot of curse words. Like they, they want to be like as clean cut as possible around you. Easy. This person feels like you're easy to talk to, easy to be around. But at the same time, you take no shit. You take no, uh, what did I take no prisoners, whatever that means. So what is this relationship? What is this situation going to look like? What is it going to look like? Oh, I got the Ten of Swords in reverse. And I usually don't take reversals. The Six of... This person is going to be so proud of you. Proud that they're with you. And they're going to... You could be, um, you can be the rebound. I ain't gonna lie. You could be the rebound. You could be everything that this person's ex wasn't. And they're definitely going to want to show that off. They're going to want to show, oh, you, and you can look, and I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but you can look way better than they ex and they want to show you off to their ex. They're definitely going to try to show you off to their ex. And they're, they're going to try to, like, brag that they're with you. Four cups. And this person is the type of person like um if they ask you out <laughs> if they ask you out on a date or something you can't make it or you say no or something like that this person's going to feel hurt by it. They're going to feel hurt by everything that you do. So if if you if 
um they buy you if they buy you a cheeseburger and you say you're allergic to cheese you can't eat it they're gonna feel hurt by that even though it's not your fault that you're allergic to cheese that just you know is what it is but they're gonna feel hurt like they're gonna feel hurt by you in um they're gonna be sensitive to rejection by you so every time you reject them whether it's like a micro re rejection or a big rejection it's gonna hurt them and that could be a problem powerful actually it can but they're just gonna um because they hold you in such high regard it's like Every time you reject them, even when you're not trying to reject them, it just is just regular, you know, when you reject them in any type of way, shape or form is going to hurt their feelings and they're going to like, they could act out, you know, like passive aggressive or something like that. This person could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is going to, y'all, see, I don't like this, but I don't, this person could feel like a failure in the presence of you sometimes. Feel like you're too good for them. That's why I don't, <laughs> that's why I, I don't, I don't know. It's not always, it's not really that enjoyable to be with somebody that feels beneath you because in the end, you will end up getting hurt by, the, by these people. I'm telling you. Let's see. Four of Pentacles. I'm here entitled. This person might be a little bit entitled to your energy a little bit. They're going to want your energy all the time. And I just saw the devil card. This person can um, become obsessed with you. So what can, what's going to be the end result in this whole situation? What's the end result in this whole situation? Oop. Left out in the cold. Somebody's going to leave somebody. So this is not going to be that long lived. And when are you meeting this person? When are you meeting this person? Six of Pentacles. Spirit is telling me how you're going to meet this person. Not when, but how. This is going to be a person where you're going to be... um. You're gonna be you're gonna be going back and forth in your mind about if you should give this person a chance or not, and in the end, you're gonna give this person a chance, but then they're gonna start doing that insecure shit because they're gonna feel less than, and and it's gonna ultimately end up like ending things. Let's see if I can get a little bit more information on when before we get out of here. When are y'all gonna meet this person? This person could actually be a part of y'all soul tribe. They're just not as healed yet. You're going to meet this person at a time where you're more healed and your emotions are more balanced and, and you don't have like, you don't have people around you no more that mean you no good. You, um... You say what you mean and you mean what you say. You're very strong. Like you're at a very empowered time in your life is when you're going to meet this person. And this person is going to feel very disempowered and that's not a really good um, relationship. But y'all will have fun for the time being. But this could be like a very short lived type situation just because this person's self-esteem isn't isn't um where it needs to be in order to like date somebody like you. Look, new lover. Nervous. This person is nervous around you. And you, 
And you could actually be meeting this person too when when you're actually looking for one. When you when you want a new lover. Like when you're like, you know what, let me go ahead and give this person a chance because I actually want somebody to spend my time with. You know, I'm I just you know, when you when you putting yourself out there and stuff like that and you feel confident and strong and beautiful and and that's when this person gonna come along. So pile four. Let me know how this resonated for y'all. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.